Okay, what's up YouTube? This is of course Great and Glorious Nick Dutch back again for your moment of weirdness and wonderfulness. Uh, doing a random reading for you from the... their runes. And of course I've got them in the form of a set of cards so that you've got something visual which you can see, therefore it's better for YouTube as opposed to me just using um, the traditional stones which have the symbols carved on them and look really rather good. It's very annoying. I haven't really got my camera set up and room set up sorted out so as I could actually use the stones and you can see my face and the stones together but that will require more in the way of like um, equipment and editing and all kinds of stuff and time. So you know you're not getting that today but you are getting me. You are getting this. If you like this series of videos, rate, comment, subscribe, favorite and share, thumbs up and click the notification icon, the bell, the bell, and all that jazz. Here we go. Simply three runes chosen at random using the wonderful power of sortilage. And the, the results of what I'm going to say will be based upon what, you know, thoughts, feelings, moods, impressions, and all the rest of that I get and also the symbolism of the cards and the symbol itself. Okay. That's your first one. Awads, according to the pronunciation in this particular rune set. Uh, a symbol of change, definitely a symbol of going through some kind of difficult times, possibly self-persecution, a sense of uh, awareness of maybe some form of wrongdoing you've had in the past, feeling a, a touch of guilt, but also trying to find a way of gaining freedom, not just through self-justification, okay, but through working through the original issue itself, working out what is right, what is wrong, and how to create the quality of progress that you require. Then the next one what we used to call Gifu in the old days, in my day when I was young. Uh, things have changed. It's now Gibo, which sounds too much like a soft fluffy character from a children's TV show in my opinion. Doesn't quite go with the kind of like rugged and raw pronunciation and imagery which is normally associated with the runes. But in this particular case uh, I feel that there's a time for subtle celebration, there's a time for subtly feeling good about yourself for something you've achieved. And if that is to do with overcoming your own personal inner demons and inner persecution, then that has to be regarded as being a good thing. A feeling not of being smug, but of being satisfied and positive and uplifted because you've done something right in order to maybe remedy or deal with a situation that had gone wrong. Does that make sense to you? I don't know, but you do. There's a comment section there. Feel free to use it, okay? and the horse symbol, which in the pronunciation of this set is Awaz or Ewaz, depending upon how you look at it. Either way, you know what the symbol looks like, it's drawn there for you, I don't know if that's clear enough. But it also speaks about like being on a journey, being on a, being on a form of travel, not traveling alone though. Some of the symbols in this reading seem to be talking about the inner journey about something. What thought processes have you been to with reference to something in your life which has been troubling you? What contemplations have you got as to your own personal responsibility as well as the influence of others? And what contemplations have you gone through in terms of working out what you personally fit into properly? There's a kind of a feeling of identity about this. Who are you in your situations? Who are you in your life uh, challenges and problems? What can you do to make things better? Okay? It's not specifically a question of guilt, but it's a question of using your uh, even more negative uh, self-assessments to stimulate you to further growth. Okay, so therefore even a difficult time can be seen as a positive thing once in a while. Alright, that's your reading for today. If you like it, if you've been uplifted by it, remember I am your professional online street performer for today. My cap is out there in the street in the form of the super thanks button. 
if you feel like you've been received direction from this or understanding or something and you just like what I do here, then show your appreciation. Also click on my channel name because that'll direct you to uh, and the videos page on my channel name because that will direct you to anything else I've done recently which you haven't yet watched. As well as all the other stuff going back uh, about one and a half decades which you can search for using the search facility which is great. The about me section will also provide you with a few links which some of which might be of interest to you so react accordingly when that time comes and just go to that page and see if it floats your boat. See if it floats your Viking longboat. Is there a picture of a longboat in this? I did. Oh yeah there is. There you go. If it floats your Viking longboat. Okay. And I'll see you for the next amazing delving into the world of the weird. And don't forget to subscribe for whatever fun is going to come your way next. <laughs>